A pandemic has turned the lives of many upside down around the world. In the United States, many single and divorced parents are struggling to work from home while taking care of kids on their own. As Danielle Robertson reports, it's becoming a mental health issue. Is that right? It's hard enough adjusting to working from home in the midst of a pandemic, but add a toddler to the mix and a workspace becomes a cubbyhole, a playpen and a swing set. We were immediately in lockdown with no support, nothing. No grandparents, no family, no childcare, no daycares, nothing. You're in lockdown with a toddler and you've got to keep the business running. Kate Morgan owns her own publicity business in Los Angeles, but her hardest job now is juggling that with being a full-time single parent. You are either working as a mother or you're working as a business owner and they're blending and there's no distinction between work and home life. It's, it's amalgamated. Kate isn't alone. According to a study by the Pew Research Centre, the United States has the world's highest rate of children living in single parent households. As the coronavirus pandemic hit, around 17 million children under the age of 18 in America were living with a single mother or father. As schools closed and grandparents sheltered in place, many were left with the difficult task of navigating their roles as provider and full-time parent. Lawyers say for divorced couples, arrangements are even trickier. I've heard from clients whose cases are closed but have these existing orders that no longer work in the middle of a pandemic. Co-parents are now renegotiating or sometimes abandoning the agreements, leaving one parent to take care of the child full-time. The rules of the shutdown in many states require every person to stay in one household, but joint custody agreements often require children to live in two, with each parent part of the time. And many courts are shut down as well, making it difficult to change custody arrangements. Divorced dad David Naylor says he and his ex were able to come to a decision amicably. Uh, we decided to take precautions and use lots of wipes, um, and wear our masks and, and just be conscious and make mindful decisions about where we went, but we stuck to our schedule um, and it brought us all closer together. Whether it involves the courts or not, the decisions parents make are difficult even in the best of times. For now, single mothers and fathers across the country are trying to decipher the best way to parent in a pandemic and find the right work-life balance. Danielle Robertson, CNA, Los Angeles.